month or so have been a little nuts for me. I've, I kind of went into it in a little bit of detail in that one video that I filmed from work. Uh, but long story short, I've had a lot of stuff build up and pile up and just, as you can see here, I've got two subscription boxes to review with you guys. And I feel like putting them in their own individual video might be a little much at this point. So you guys get not just the final Think Geek capsule, which I received in August, um, but also the Nick box for the month, which arrived about two weeks ago, shortly before Halloween. And this one, as you guys can see, is hefty. This is a big old box. There's a lot of stuff in here. Definitely opening that one second, so y'all have to yeah. stick around and watch it. So I, I will say, I have not been as impressed with the Think Geek capsules as I wanted to be. A lot of the properties inside are not necessarily ones that appeal to me personally. I mean, they're, 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 they're not, they're good quality items, and they're a lot of the things that I've ended up enjoying, but as a whole- That I mean, one unicorn cup was good. Yeah. Uh, the like other than that, that, what's a single thing that I've, we got out of a Think Geek? That the t-shirts I've enjoyed up to this point. Like, I, I still wear the D&D one, even though I don't actually play d and I just kind of appreciate it from afar. Um, and I wear the Legend of Zelda one, the Breath of the Wild shirt. They're both pretty cool. But I'm yeah, not entirely, like entirely sure what's in here, so let's check it out. So we got Capsule... Uh, oh, okay. I thought that was going to be another Capsule box. number three. This is the spoilers. I'm not going to look at these. Okay, so the first thing I see... Okay, we got a that, blind tag. That appeals this to This is a Power Rangers helmet collector clip. Did that movie come out? Yeah, oh, no. it's been in and out of theaters already. Um, I'm not gonna open this right now, actually. No, please open it. Okay, I guess I'll open it. I don't really know much about the Power Rangers. Look, I just wanna know if it's the blue one. No, it's, um... Oh my god, it's in a case? No, it's this one. I don't even know who this is. It's the black one? The gray one? This one isn't even on the bag. Maybe that's the special chase figure. Well, it's this guy. It kind of looks like a grenade. If you guys know anything about Power Rangers and you would be kind enough to tell me who this is, I would appreciate it in the comments below. So that's the first. And by know anything about Power Rangers, we know anything about this, just this one Power Rangers movie that has very little to do with anything Power Rangers yeah. ever before it. Um, the next thing I'm seeing that I'm actually really, really into, this is a luggage tag shaped like an old three and a half inch floppy disk. Oh, I love that. Uh, I definitely like this a lot. I am always in need of a luggage tag for some bizarre reason. Well, um, you travel. I travel. I like to there. travel, even though I haven't really because I've been broke. But this will be great. I'm super looking forward to using this. This is something that I will actually definitely use. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, our... Oh, okay, the uh, the How Power Ranger Helmet Collector Clip was the bonus for signing up for all three at once. And the next thing we have is the... Okay, um, I'm sure a lot of people would enjoy this, but this is the collectible pins. And I love enamel pins, but it's the Cats and Cosplay edition. Well, they might at least be cute, come on. I mean, they're probably cute, but oh, again, I don't really care about cats. Anyway, let's see who we got. Um, we got... Okay, it's the cat in one of those inflatable TRX costumes. Okay, that one's cute. That's At least cute. It's, and it's, a, it's a good quality pin. The enamel's nice and flat. There's only one pin back on the yeah, back. Yeah, there is, so there is only one pin back. Um, but this is precious. It's I strike actually, me as a little big for only one pin back. Yeah, I mean, it is, it's heavy. So that's pretty cool. It's a good quality item. Yeah, yeah very good quality item. Can't, can't go wrong with that. Um, I will say, speaking of quality items, one of the next things I'm seeing in here, this is a Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. <gasps> Little Beasts and Where to Get Them? <laughs> Little Beasts and Where to Get Them. This is a notebook, and it's it feels like it's leather bound. At least we'll use that. I will definitely use this. I like notepads. I'm not the world's biggest Harry Potter fan, but I do enjoy the universe thereof. So I'm here for this. Also, it looks like a really just nice quality, yeah. good size. Yeah, this is really, notebook. really neat. And it has an elastic around it? Forget something? Next time, write it down. Obelvate is a spell used to erase memories in J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World. This finely crafted Obelvate journal 
celebrates the exquisite art and design of Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. But yeah, it's cool. There's like a, a ribbon bookmark. Oh, bookmark. Yeah, this is actually a really oh, high quality, that... nice item. I like this. Honestly, there are so many times when Elise and I are like, oh, here's an idea. Do write we have anywhere to write yeah. down? I'm probably going to carry this with me. And Elise is a big time notebook user. I am a notebook fan. I've um, just become a planner woman. So this is kind of cool. There's an entire fucking Funko Pop in here. Elise likes Funko Pops, and I like Batman. Yeah, so you're That's... probably gonna get this guy. This is Batman from the new upcoming Justice League movie. You get Batman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Superman, The Flash, or Cyborg. Oh, show me the Aquaman one. It's Jason Momoa. Aquaman, I know. So I love the Jason Momoa. Aquaman. I would have been okay. With, I would have. I would have preferred that. I would have preferred the Wonder Woman. But yeah, hey, Wonder Batman. Awesome. Everybody loves Batman, right? Yeah, he's pretty good. I like Batman a lot more yeah, than Yeah, I'm not- I am a, a- it's an interest of mine. Yeah, Karen enjoys it. And the last thing in this box- I get into um, things. And I buy encyclopedias. This is- a Some sort of TARDIS. TARDIS? Thing. Shaped box? I really hope it is a drink container. No, it is the t-shirt of the I've box. always wanted a thermos that was bigger on the inside. Same. And from what I can tell, this is- The TARDIS. The TARDIS. I mean, that's a cool shirt. As you guys may remember from my last video of these, I don't watch Doctor Who. So this is, that right there kind of encapsulates my issue with the Thinky Capsules, that the properties that it's kind of showing are very, very popular, but not ones that I particularly care for. And the thing is, Elise and, and I, uh, even though I'm not the one who buys the box, we're both into a lot of geek yeah. stuff. Um, I, like, will, I will say that a couple months ago, Think Geek did send out a survey, basically, asking how you felt about the capsules. And I'm like, I feel like they were really good value if you liked the stuff inside of them. And it also, it also asked for additional properties or things yeah. that may be of interest. So I kind of pushed some more, because I, I noticed- That's the problem with all, like, Loot Crate and Think- Yeah, I, I like, did notice okay, that a lot really of- if you really like Marvel movies and Doctor Who, you're set. Yeah. And I'm okay with Marvel movies. Mostly just Thor. I just like Thor. Yeah. And I don't care about Doctor Who. So this was, it was cute. I probably, unless they drastically change the amount of, or the, the variety of things, I probably wouldn't sign up for this for a full time. I'm gonna say something that I already hate as it's coming out of my mouth, but if they did a girl one. Yeah, that was one, mean, of, one of the suggestions I made was to kind of maybe incorporate more uh, female friendly properties. Or even just like heroines from, like, okay. Yeah. If we'd gotten the Wonder Woman or instead then, of the Batman, way more it would've been a lot better. Oh yeah. Or, you know, that's one of the beauties of Funko Pops. They have so many varieties covered. All right, I, I can't wait anymore. So this is the most recent Nick box. Um, it is shaped like a treasure it's chest. It's shaped like a treasure chest, straight up. And it is like, it's, it's thick. For scale. It's, it's thick. thick. So let's see what could possibly be in here. In this hefty, every time we've got one of these, we've loved Whoa, it. Whoa, okay. Um, so first of all, the inside is gorge. It's really Aww. nice. But the first thing is a Rocco's Modern Life wall clock. I, 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 I one of the things I really like about Nick Box is that they've kind of realized that their target audience are 90s kids grown up. So they want to include like housewares and other useful items like that. I don't know, I don't want to alienate anyone out there, but like, it's not a bunch of useless tchotchkes. Yeah. It's not just useless like, tchotchkes. Like, it's, it's stuff that is useful. Like, I use the bag clips all yeah. the time that we got a couple months ago. So this the is the first clips, thing. magnets, things um, like that. Totally usable. Oh, wow. Speaking of tchotchkes, um, this is actually a super nice quality cat dog figure. It's here. a really, but they're really interesting, really good. Yeah, like the, and look the, how happy the cat and yeah, dog look. The, the motion in it is really cool. The cat never looked that happy yeah. in the damn show. Exactly. Cool. Let's see. We also, I don't know what this is. It is a. It's a crumb candy, candy dish. dish. What on earth? We can put that right next to the Gerald vase. What is, oh my goodness. I love crumbs. 
So. Oh, this is precious. Like, I. I don't. It's not necessarily. Oh, you know what? You could you could use that as like a little ring container for your jewelry or something. Like that's a really cute. This is cool. It's I'm getting styrofoam all over the damn place, but this is cool. That's a cool. This thing. This is a cool thing that I did not expect. Here's the T-shirt for the month. Oh, dude. Are you excited? <gasps> oh, okay. It was the Midnight Ho Society. It was the Halloween box, I guess. So yeah. that is absolutely perfect. This is really cool. Real uh, talk. There is a little. This show terrified me. Oh as yeah, a kid. and dude, probably still now. Zeke the plumber. Scary, but I thought little... Zeke the Plumber was from Salute Your Shorts. No, I thought that was. Our, I thought that was. Um, look, lots of things look, could scare you as a yeah. child. This is really cool, though. This is a nice, nicely printed shirt. Oh, and what's this? Is that a matchbook? It's a pin. Oh my gosh! Official member of the Midnight Society. Okay, can we just? This is going this? on my fucking coat. Can we just compare this pin? To the that pin I'm, that was included in, in the, thinky, the thinky capsule. Like this is way cooler in my humble of hum, humble opinion. This appeals directly to Elise. Yes, it's more relevant to this is cool. her interests and my interests. Okay, what is this? This is oh my god, it's, it's an, an air, air freshener. freshener shape. Oh, shaped it's Arbor like monsters. monsters. What does it say? What it smelled? I can kind of smell. It's not bad. I think it's like I citrus. Was wondering if they would have written on the back. No, it doesn't say. So this is a reptar book. A freaking plush reptar bar. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my god! It's got like a little bite taken out of it, so you can see that it turns your mouth green. Oh man, this is. I can see. I. I get, I'm just thinking in my mind of how. <laughs> different our reactions to everything in this box are to the box we just opened. Yeah. Where like everything in this is like pinging our nostalgia and not just nostalgia but like current interests. Yeah. This is so cool. And is like most of it is stuff you can use around the home. Whoa, 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 whoa. Most of it is stuff you can use around the home. Most of it is stuff you can use around the home. This is our favorite Nicktoon of all time. Angry it's Beavers? It's not just Angry Beavers. Oh. So I'm okay. gonna open well, them. There, there are four different. The fact that it designs. starts with Angry Beavers. Yeah, it's got my attention. So we have the Angry Beavers. We have Hey Arnold. Another good one. We have Rugrats, which isn't like King. Nick and Jr. we've got Ren and Stimpy, but that's okay. Stimpy okay, is there is one last thing in here. There should be a cosplay item. No. Oh my God. I think this might be like a tablet case or something. No, it's it's like a freaking Trapper Keeper kind of? Shaped like the Grumble's book. I'm shaking. Elise, this is this so is the coolest item cool. I've ever gotten in a box. There's little pockets to put things is in. Is there a place to slip in a uh, a tablet? I don't think well, not a tab, but like a pad or a writing pad or a notebook. Um, there are little like you could put one in over here. Okay, yeah, because that would hold a uh, marble notebook. Yeah, this Which is the coolest thing. Wow, at least that that's gonna like actually be used. We are both gonna, going. Yeah, to use we're gonna that. use this because that could become like the thing for this shit. This is awesome. This is my favorite thing we've seen so far. I don't think people understand how much I love Aria Monsters. I don't think, like, anyone yeah. really, like, I don't think people have as much nostalgia for Aria Monsters as we do. Yeah. Like, like, we were, like I was big into Aria Monsters. I mean, it was. It was so different, and it was so cool, and Crumb was horrible looking. I was a big fan of the Plasky Supo stuff. I yeah, was... I gotta say. Everything Plasky Supo put, put, put out some really good stuff. That Midnight Society fucking shirt and pin set is the coolest. Like, I am over the moon about all the stuff we got out of this box. So that that is my, um, I guess, uh, surprise break. The only thing in there I wasn't so into was one out of four plates we got. Yeah, like everything else was spectacular. And that one plate is a property that is like beloved by many that are not me. Yeah, so that is my stockpile of Strange subscription services. Um, I'm going to be continuing with Nickbox for the foreseeable future. They send these out quarterly. They're $50 a box. 
Um, but you definitely get your money's worth out you of it. You definitely, definitely get your money's um, worth out of it. Thinking the capsule, the set of three, I believe, it's, was seventy. It was between seventy and ninety. Um, that's a great price. Great if, price if that's the kind of stuff you're into. I'm just not. If you're a loot crate person, yeah. If that's the kind of thing that you like, if if that's if that's your type of nerdery, um, if you're a real bazinga fan, I wouldn't put it even that way. <laughs> that's a little. I would say if if you uh, like more mainstream nerdy properties, things like Game of Thrones, Harry Potter. I will say it was mostly uh, TV and movies. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot of, of games anime, yeah. or anime or other animation. Yeah, uh, um, which is more of our my my thing. Uh, but yeah, they're they're both great value for their money. Um, but for me, my money is on the Nick box, and I can't wait to get the next one. Question of the day: um, Who is your favorite Doctor from Doctor Who? I like um, ten. We've both seen a fair amount of Doctor Who. It's yeah. not like a primary fan of our mom and dad. Yeah, our parents were big loved into the it. original and like stayed with it. So mm -hmm. like we're, we're we so know just, about it. Yeah, and it's maybe just, maybe the new Doctor will be good. You know, maybe it'll I, actually be better. I'll tell you, I got chills when I saw that trailer. The trailer was good. The so trailer was good. like, I I have hopes, but I mean, Stephen Moffat's still there, so. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in more subscription box unboxing videos, I will link some at the end, so you can check those out. If you're interested um, in getting any of these subscription if you're, yeah, boxes. Yeah, if you're interested in getting any of these subscription boxes, I will put links in the description to where you can find them for yourself. Uh, some of them may be referral links, some of them might not be. I don't remember off the top of my head, but you'll probably be able to tell. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Social medias are in the description, and I will see you in the next video. Later.